Do not let your hearts be troubled. We can answer, how it can be, Jesus, if I have so many worries in my life, payments, payrolls, children in the school, children in the college, my own worries and troubles. How it can be not to let my heart be troubled if so many troubles is in present in my life? And I don't know the answer. The one who knows it, the answer is the Holy Spirit who can guide us to walk on the water. And it's not easy to walk on the water. It is risky. We sometimes fall. We sunk. We learn how important it is to trust in Jesus. But it is possible to not, not let our hearts be troubled. It is possible. But why Jesus asked us so challenging question? The answer is, is in the second reading which we heard from the Saint Peter. He says, you are the chosen race. You are the royal priesthood. You are the holy nation, people of his own, so that you may announce his praises of him who called you out of darkness into wonderful light. Did you hear what I read? It's about you, it's about me, it's about us. It's a description of who we are. You are the chosen race. You are the royal priesthood, holy nation, a people of his own, so that you may announce his praises of him who called you out of darkness into wonderful light. How many of us announce his praises who called you out of darkness? How many of us praise him every day, living in thanksgiving for the new life which we receive and receiving every day? Do you want to raise hands up? How many of you do it? <laughs> I see a few people. It will be all of us are called to live such life. It sounds like something almost impossible, but it is possible because God doesn't challenge us to do something which we cannot achieve. Most of we who are worry so much about the life with Jesus, about this walking on the water, and all of you know how difficult it is when he called you to make step without knowing where you, he will lead you. But this is who we are. And who we are describes and influences our choices. And who we are influences how do we live and how do you think and what do you do. To get it um, more clear, I'll give you an example of, we can look of who we are, looking of our, on our enemies, because they are contradiction to who we are. Like the enemies of the thieves and murderers and robbers is police. They don't like them, because police looks for justice, and thieves doesn't like justice. And we have also enemies. We are wealthy people in God's eyes. He gives us a lot. But there is somebody who doesn't want us to see how much did you receive. His name is Satan and all his fellows, spirits, who work every day, 24-7, to keep you out of this context that you are chosen people, that you are holy nation. And we almost forgot about that. We live like almost, I wouldn't want to say slaves, but like people who are abandoned, without help, without hope. How often are those your feelings and experiences? Satan does best to keep you in darkness 
to let your, not, not let your dignity shine in your life, to not, not let you be who you are and keep you in darkness and sadness and pain. We are royal race, a people of his own, called to do the works of Jesus and even do greater works than he did, what we heard in the gospel. We are not called to lay on the sofa and watch TV. <laughs> it's a so popular example. We are all called to live our lives, to experience God in our journeys and struggles. And we can ask, what are the works that Jesus did? What are the works we are called to do? Well, feed the hungry, console troubled and sorrow, lonely, and as we heard from St. Peter, offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. You are royal priesthood too, not only me. We are all priests for God. What is your intention if you came for this Mass? For whom do you pray today? Or you came simply because it's Sunday? God wants us to have something we bring to the altar. It may be thanksgiving for graces in your life, or your family, or you pray for somebody who is in distress and pain. We are royal priesthood. It is a lot given to us. Yes, we are this royal priesthood, holy nation, people on his own, but most of us don't see it, don't experience it. It's like something foreign for most of us. So how to change it? I will start with asking God, help me to see who I am in your eyes. Help me to see who, are, who am I really, whom you made me. Help me to see that I am your precious son and daughter, that I am part of the holy nation, that I matter. Because as a holy nation, we are called to make a difference in this world, like Jesus did. And he made huge difference. The one guy, he changed the history of the world. What about millions of his followers? How do we change the history of the world? It doesn't work well as we see. We don't change too much anymore because we don't live as his sons and daughters. God convinced me of the truth of myself. Convince me who am I? Who am I in your, in your eyes? Your beloved son and daughter. So make a difference. Make a difference as a father and mother, as a policeman, as a teacher. Make a difference as a beloved, precious in God's eyes, his son and daughter. Yes, we are prodigal children, but still we are very loved and nothing changes. So go and make a difference and ask God to help you to see the difference, to see who you really are.